Princess Peach is a princess, right? She's not Queen Peach, after all. Which means, surely, there must be some level of monarchy above hers. A king and a queen peach of some kind. Well, this is the question I decided to answer. So, I've spent the last few days scouring the entire Mario franchise for any trace, any mention of these missing parents. Spoiler alert, I found some pictures, you guys. So together, let's answer the question of who are Princess Peach's parents? So, let's start with the games. If you've played much Mario before, you're probably aware of the fact that Princess Peach's parents aren't exactly prominent characters. In fact, there's actually only a single reference to these parents across the entire series. And that reference comes in the very first Super Mario game, Super Mario Bros for the NES. Now, this game doesn't exactly have a lot of text in it. There's like five lines of dialogue max. And uh, none of them mention the parents of Princess Peach, or as she was called back then, Princess Toadstool. However, if we turn to the game's manual, then we'll have some more luck. In amongst descriptions of the game's enemies and explanations of the controls, there's this huge paragraph of text explaining the game's story. Apparently, the evil Koopa invaded the Mushroom Kingdom, turning its citizens into stone. And if we look here, <clears throat> the only one who can undo the magic spell on the Mushroom people and return them to their normal selves is the Princess Toadstool, the daughter of the Mushroom King. And there it is, definitive proof that Princess Peach's parents do indeed exist, or at least her father. Except this is only the English manual, it was translated from the original Japanese manual, and a lot of artistic license was taken. A few years ago, a game translator called Clyde Mandolin went back to that original manual and translated it again using a more faithful approach. Here is what he came up with. The only one who can lift the spell on the Mushroom people and bring them back to life is the Mushroom Kingdom's Princess Peach. She is currently in the clutches of Great Demon King Cooper. Now, there's one major difference there which I'm sure you noticed. The mention of the Mushroom King is completely gone. In other words, King Peach, or King Toadstool, was completely made up by the English translators. And that's it. That's the only mention from the games themselves. And it's a questionable mention at that. However, thankfully we've got more than just the games themselves to work from. At this point, I really need to thank Twitter user Supper Mario Broth, because at my request, he sent me scans of a really old, obscure video game guidebook. And this, as far as we are aware, is the very first ever depiction of King and Queen Toadstool. Basically, there was a series of video game guidebooks from Japan, which came out in the 1980s, called Certain Victory Technique, which would, I assume, teach you the technique to achieve certain victory. And the first in this series was all about Super Mario Bros. Now, I call it a guidebook, but this guide actually takes the form of a comic book. Here's Mario. I kind of like his design here. And then here's the princess. Very different from how she looks nowadays. Much more mushroomy. <laughs> anyway, right near the end of the book, there's an illustration that shows the entire Toadstool family. Just take a look. So here it is. This is the first ever illustration of the ever mysterious King and Queen Peach. They're very much leaning into that Toadstool aspect of the design. So that book was obviously released in Japan, but a few years later, a fairly similar guidebook was released in the US called How to Win at Super Mario Bros. Heck, you might have even had this book when you were younger. Unfortunately, compared to the Japanese guide, this one is kind of boring. Everything is just explained with text and diagrams rather than fun drawings. However, at the very start of the book, there is a page which explains the game's story, and this does feature illustrations. In fact, it's highly possible that some of these illustrations were done by the same person who did the Japanese guidebook. And right in the corner, there's this one little illustration which shows the king and the queen toadstool yet again. This time, they're in colour. Just get an eyeful of that yellow and blue robe. Lovely colour combo. 
Now, there's one last drawing of the king from around this era, which was featured in an old official Mario colouring book, which looks just like this. Now, the art style here is very different. In fact, the toads look strikingly similar to how Shigeru Miyamoto himself draws them, although I highly doubt he was involved with this book. However, there's one big thing missing with everything I've talked about so far. Personality. Who is the king? Who is the queen? What are they like as people? Up until 1990, there was no mention of any of that. But then, one comic book came out which changed everything. So, in 1990, the Nintendo Comics System began publication. This was a long-running series of comic books published in America by a company called Valiant Comics, and it featured stories about Zelda and Mario and various other Nintendo properties. And it's in these Mario comics that the Toadstool royal family finally gets properly fleshed out. Well, half of it does. Throughout these books, the king is a really important character, appearing in the majority of the Mario comics. However, bizarrely, Queen Toadstool is not in the books. Not even a tiny cameo, she's just not here. However, there is just one mention of her existence. One day, Princess Peach just starts saying the word bummer all the time for some reason, and apparently she inherited it from her mother, who also said the word bummer a lot. Um, okay. <laughs> but other than that, the Queen is never mentioned in any of these comics. But what about the King? Well, his one main personality trait is stupidity. That's like all his personality is in these books. He's shown to be constantly and always a complete idiot. In just about every chapter, he's getting kidnapped or he accidentally gets someone else kidnapped. He's always causing trouble. In fact, and this is pretty funny, there's a chapter of these comics called Da Stupid Bomb. All of Maria's friends and family accidentally get doused in stupid gas from a stupid bomb, which turns them stupid. However, King Toadstool is unaffected, simply because he is already so stupid in the first place that it has no effect. And that is his entire personality. By the way, I'm sure you've noticed this already, but his design is quite a bit different here too. He's based on the kings from Super Mario Bros 3. In fact, certain elements of the story are directly lifted from that game. Like the kings from Mario 3, King Toadstool is turned into an animal. It happens twice, actually. He's turned into a dog, and then a chameleon. And the only way to turn him back is to retrieve a magic wand, just like in Mario 3 yet again. The similarity is pretty clear to see. There is one final mystery, though. If King Toadstool is so incredibly stupid, how does he manage to keep the Mushroom Kingdom running smoothly? The answer, his daughter, Princess Toadstool. According to these comics, she is the one running the kingdom from behind the scenes. And so, if you take these comics to be canon, which to be clear, they are definitely not, <laughs> but if you do, then just think, next time you're playing tennis with Peach, or she hits you with a shell in Mario Kart, after she's finished with that race, she's likely got a stack of papers to sign and admin to complete. And that's why we never see her parents in the games. It's because they're not very good rulers of the kingdom. Bummer. Oh, and lastly, I couldn't find a good place to put this into the script. However, we are introduced to Peach's grandma in one of the old Super Mario Bros. Super Show cartoons. Here is what she looks like in that. She appears only in one episode, called Little Red Riding Princess, which is unsurprisingly based somewhat loosely on Little Red Riding Hood. It's never explained which side of the family she is on, but judging by the fact she has a brain and is not completely stupid, then I'm willing to bet she's probably on the mother's side. <laughs> there is also a character called Grandma in Super Mario RPG, but judging by just how different this grandma looks to Princess Peach, I think it's unlikely they're blood related. But you never know, anything is possible in the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching this video until the end. Again, thank you to Supper Mario Broth for his help with this video. And if you enjoyed it, then you can subscribe for more videos like this every week. 
Um, I think that's everything. Okay, goodbye. Bye! <laughs>